this can't be real. This has to be a movie, right? Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. This is going to be real quick just about what happened during the arraignment portion of today's court hearings when it comes to the Idaho 4 case. Now, the court date was set at 9 o'clock Idaho time, and honestly, it could not have gone worse, in my opinion. Judge Judge is a moron. Did any of you, any of the millions of you that watched this, catch the fact that he kept saying, Kayla can solve this? And he never corrected himself. He never corrected it to state Kaylee. And her family is sitting right there in the courtroom watching him not speak her name correctly. I just... Mm, okay, let's just talk about what actually happened here besides that. I'm just so... Fa mm, mm, okay, so the whole thing only lasted about 12 or 13 minutes. It's really interesting to me that Brian Koberger and his team decided to do the standing silent thing here. Because that meant that he did not speak the words guilty or not guilty out of his mouth. And Taylor, with her not brushed hair, okay, can we also talk about that for a second? Ann Taylor knows that the entire world is watching this, okay? And she couldn't, like, straighten out the ponytail ring in her hair. Okay, okay. So she tells the judge, Judge Judge, who can't pronounce people's names correctly in front of a camera, apparently that he's choosing, Brian is choosing to stand silent. So then the judge judge puts the non-guilty plea in for him. Now we have a trial date already set. And if I heard correctly, the deadline for there to be something set in order for it to still be in the parameters of the speedy trial rights at this portion would have been November 22nd. The numerology in this case is astounding, honestly. But the trial date is set for October 2nd of 2023 at 8.30 in the morning. And they're expecting it to last probably like four to six weeks. And with 51 terabytes of digital data alone, plus everything else, yeah, it'll probably take that entire segment of time. Now, I will state, I did go back and watch a few times whenever the victim's names were said not just because of Judge Judge's horrible, just, mm, the fact he didn't even correct Kaylee's name. I just, I can't even imagine the way her family feels right now. But I went back so that I can kind of watch Brian Koberger's body language. And it looked like whenever the charges started coming through, that him and Ann Taylor kind of had to start non-verbally communicating with each other. I noticed that his body language shifted, the way he was sitting in his chair shifted, and the second that Maddie's name got said, he completely changed his position in his chair. That can be a very telling situation. And I, I noticed that whenever Kaylee's name was being mispronounced, he didn't have much of a response. But whenever Zana's last name was being mispronounced by the judge, it almost looked like his lips moved to speak her name correctly. It was, it was interesting to watch. But now we have two more things that are coming up. They might already be happening right now. I've been having some technical issues today. Of course, today of all days. So I want to go ahead and just get this up now. I'm going to go catch up on the other two motions. See y'all.